And we're live. Sweet. Welcome. I will be screen sharing soon. Let me get all set up. So while we're doing that today, if anybody joins, we, of course, I do once a month where I select live a few uh, diver deserving Lego uh, idea submissions. So I'm looking forward to this. Now, I will say um, I'm going to be biased this February. Uh, there's a, a few submissions that um, of channels that I follow. So one is uh, uh, Potter Minifigs has got one. And then Cabbage has one. And I've uh, wanted to support both of those. So, and then I'll probably look at doing two, two to three others. Um, so there's, there's some, a hand, I'm, I've been looking at it, and there's some really good ones. So with that, I am going to select... Let me jump in and select a few, do my screen share. There we go. Boom. There we go. We are live. We got it all. Let's see if I can move that over here. And it doesn't look like anybody's on quite yet, but that's okay because this will be recorded and you can watch the replay. So for those watching the replay, we, again, I once a month, I, I go live and then I uh, pick out a few deserving ideas. I'm already on the site. I'm all logged in as myself, Scott D. Bricks. Um, towards the end of this, I'll do a, do a couple of announcements on, on things that are in the works, but let's do some finding here let me uh explore product ideas let me jump in Let's see where it goes doing a refresh all right well, that's a nice layout here steampunk punk airship that's pretty cool and I, I also, that is the last time I'll say cool. Because <laughs> I will probably say it like 30 times. Um, you know, when Lego puts the staff pick or puts these in here, these tend to get a lot of votes pretty quick. You know, uh, post office makes sense. I really like that. I think, all right, let me click on that. I like how they purposely put this is not a modular format. <laughs> Trying not to get hit by the modular. So look at that. I think I think this is really well presented. Very nice. Look at that telephone booth booth is a very nice touch. Oh, hey, that this part, I know um, the train set from like the 80s had a lot of these letters. I feel like I have that cat. So I have a lot of these parts. This is old school. So this is definitely somebody who's got a very deep pool of Lego. So I'm going to support it. Boom. So now this one is up to... It's got 759 days left, so there's no way. Even if you only had one voter per day, you would crush it. So I'm supporter number 7582. We've got one down. So we're killing it. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That's nice. That might get some love. Really like this house. That's very, you know, 
I don't think we have the seven dwarves. I could see that one getting some play. I know uh, I like the succulent. I'm I'm actually going to select the succulent for sure here. I think Lego's on to something with doing plant life. First of all, part of my reason I would really go for this is because my daughter would really like it. And so uh, I really like succulent arrangements. So I think selfishly i would like to get this for my daughter so maybe if they make one maybe next spring so if this can get in the next review period boom nine thousand one hundred thirty five so a couple more people just need to jump in there and this puppy thing is going to be on the next review all right two down i'll give myself five max that i'm going to uh, vote for I usually do three and then end up with four. <laughs> um, so there's one that I definitely want to make sure I'm doing. So this is a... Oh, I wonder why it's not doing that. So if we go explore and I go train... Find ideas. Mallard. Search. There it is. So this one is from Cabbage Face Lego. Um, really good. Um, it's a YouTube channel I follow. I, I watch some of his videos. He's very active in the community. So, you know, while this probably wouldn't be one I would purchase because I'm not really into trains, I've, I'm supporting it. I re this is really nice. I like this feature right here. It's pretty, pretty nice and probably not likely to get made, right? But it's all good. So this one, I'm going to, uh, and obviously he's a big fan. And again, these are nice little minifigures. I think this is a well-presented idea. There we go. So now I'm number 651 for Cabbage Face. So hey, anybody who submits, it's awesome. So I'm going to... Bam. There you go. Okay. So, love for cabbage. Live. Next. Okay. So, post office. That thing is going to get approved. That's in the 8,000s. We've done the succulent. That's getting close. Oh, now, well, that's kind of nice that it puts a little supporting thing on there. Um, this is interesting. I don't know if anybody saw in the news, but there was a dog that captured somebody or I, like helped the police the other day. They've got these things going out. <laughs> so that was pretty, pretty fun. Let's see. Hocus Pocus, not my thing. Bike lanes. Oh, dude. This is really smart. <laughs> Of course, there's controversy with the new road plates. I think people are warming up to them. Uh, and now they, they could do this type of addition, which would be interesting. It makes sense. Animal Crossing, not my thing, but that's a really nice look. I'm sure a lot of fans are going to jump on that. Okay, so now here's another one. Oh, jeez, look at that. This one could get some play. This is really well built, too. Corvus. Um, so this is one I want to support. So this is um, Potter Minifigs. This is the YouTube. Holly can build. 
plenty of time left. I'm going to post in here. Go ahead and get supported. <laughs> I do like the scene. And just to kind of show it off a little bit, um, she does have a whole like YouTube video going through it, which I recommend. I thought she really good job on the characters themselves. I mean, this is really nice looking. Any kid that's into Monsters, Inc. would be uh, down for this. And there's still some popularity for Monsters, Inc. But I really like that. That's nice. Um, really well done. Probably the only thing... Oh, that's cool with a different... Um, was if maybe this would be like the, the bedroom scene would be the only other thing. Because if I remember right, he goes in and then I thought it was the bedroom scene, but um, this, this is a nice little build. And what's nice about this is that it's not overwhelming. It's a, they could keep this to a hundred dollars or under, right? So maybe like an $80, $90 build, which, you know, so, I mean, it appeals with kids, adults. So nice. Good overall, so I'm going to, I'll submit some feedback too. Boom. Let's see what else it recommends. Cool, so that knocks out, so that's uh, Polly's Cabbage. Um, post office, succulent. Let's see what else we got. All right. Cruising down. Yeah, I'm going to go into the other mode. All right. We got Monsters, Inc. Insects. That's interesting. Hmm. Not for me. Labyrinth. That's in interesting. Get a D David Bowie figure. <laughs> oh, here's the other one. Okay. So I jumped in early and did see this. For those who don't know, I am a pretty big Daft Punk fan. I would say probably top 10 concerts I've ever been at was Lollapalooza, Daft Punk headlining. And uh, that was pretty amazing. So this is an automatic because from a display standpoint, Pioneers in the house. Hello. So I'm... We're, I'm back picking Lego ideas, and I'm a big Daft Punk fan, so when I saw this, I was like, yes, I am going to support. Let me uh, read it first here, Let's see what they're thinking. Although I wonder how much this would be. Maybe it's like $80 or $90 for two helmets, or maybe they just do one helmet. See how big these are. I wonder how big they actually are. Wow. Do 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 do. You should like click. Ooh, that is nice. One of the most iconic, enigmatic musical duos of all time. I wonder if he ran this by Daft Punk so that if he wins, that they're down with it. I'm a huge fan. I would personally love to see this idea. 
Oh, there are other tributes. Ooh, that's pr pretty fantastic. I don't really get that, but yeah. What do you think, Pioneer? I feel like they have a different helmet that I've seen from the, some of their older tours that would be really good. But I will support. He's got to get to 5,000. Should I put a comment in there? Save project, submit. We'll give them some feed, positive feedback and love there. See if we can uh, leave some feedback. And the dog's barking. Here we go. I'm in. Go back to explore. All right, let's I'll do one last run through here. So to recap where I'm at, I supported the village post office, which is really really nice build. It says it's not a module meant as a modular, but we all know these buildings are kind of meant for people's cities. I haven't seen too many post offices, so I think that one yeah could have a shot. There's no IP. Um, I picked the succulent garden. I've been kind of wanting to pick that. And again, my daughter, I think I would be a good purchase, especially her gift. They could set this one up as a promo, like no problem. I don't think this would be really hard. It uses a lot of common parts. You know, these are becoming popular with flowers. So I don't know, it might infringe on what they're already doing. I could see Lego coming out, like denying this one and then coming out with it anyways. Is <laughs> the only problem. Um... So, um, I supported Monsters, Inc. I don't know why it's not showing that I support it. Oh. Okay. So, 2593. She's got a little ways to go. Um... But she's got 588 days to get to that 5,000 mark. I think she will. She'll probably just need to do a couple more videos. Um, maybe do like an update video that she's now at 2,500 and uh, almost kind of approaching 3,000. So she's getting there. Um, let's see here. Okay, so now I'm supporting that one. Dojo, that's that's pretty, really nice work there. Labyrinth, insects, that's an interesting little thing. Daft Punk, I did the Mallard Train. That one you have to look up because it's not on the main page. This is nice. I don't know, this is kind of like, almost like ship in the bottle except for its plants. Um, 
I could see people now submitting all sorts of flowers. <laughs> uh, the Viking ship is out there. Tavern Under the Snow, that one I've talked about a couple times on my stream, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think that one's one I should be I should select. There's 700 days left, so I think the problem with this one is that if it was like the inn under the snow, it would have a shot. But with it being a tavern under the snow, I don't see Lego making this. So that would be my argument on, hey, this is great work, but in you know, and that right now I would I on the the sets that are really high in my list. Cantina, Blacksmith, the three-in-one pirate ship. Um, I feel like there's another one I'm missing. Yeah. What's up, Spot? Magic Ninja. Yes, I 100% agree with you. I think at some point, isn't the word that they're part of their BrickLink vision is to eventually like create a path for designers to, you know, at least be able to easily brick link these maybe. So that way designers can get a little, little, you know, a few bucks back. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, it, it's really a shame. Some of the ones that are getting passed over for into the design phase. Um, Oh, wow. This one would never get made, but, this is cool as heck. Even though I promise not to say cool, I'm saying cool. <laughs> this one's pretty rad. The Medieval Butcher. Oh, look at that. Get some of those meat pieces. Probably could needed to uh, call it something other than butcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. but look at this nice landscaping there's the uh, the lions signia in here so this would counteract the blacksmith which was a falcon look at that that ox too is super nice I like the red Oh, look at that. This looks like you're in in Spain. Jamon. I should have called it the Jamon shop. <laughs> that That's the Forestman hats right there. It's, it's an old goblet. I like the stand. I, I've never done this before. I'm going to have to steal that idea. <laughs> I, I, like, I like that. Chicken, that's really fun. Ooh, that is really nice. I didn't even catch that on the on the roof. And I I like that he or she, whoever the designer, put that gray hat. That's nice. That axe right here. Looks like a brick built pig right there. Wow. Well, I don't normally do that, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna support it just because it's cool. It won't get made. <laughs> All right, let's uh, scroll through a couple more. I'm really hooking these up today. We did the spotter pioneer. If you're here. Did Def Punk? Let's see more. There's been a lot of. Uh, I I did hear about this, this set. We won't support it yet. And the the windmill couldn't get selected, but a fighting windmill might. You never know.
Forgotten Island. I think this is pretty pretty nice. You know, what I like about some of these ideas is that they could actually get made. Like, if you switch the name to, you know, like Medieval Meat sh meat Store or something, I don't know. But Butcher, it's probably not. Forgotten Island's got a shot. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Hmm. Bricky Brick. Bricky Brick's got a lot in here. Wow. That almost like an Mtron slash Ninjago. Hmm. Oh, see. Castle in theme. This is what I'm talking about. If this was the the inn under the snow, it would totally get made. Oh, another medieval inn. Wow. Huh. I think I like this one a little bit better. It also has the older shields on there, so that's sneaky. Wow, look at this. Pearl tea. I'm not really into it. That's interesting. Autumn cabin retreat. That's nice. Somebody definitely got the treehouse and you made use of the fall pieces. <laughs> I've seen Venice before. Brickster's got a bunch of stuff, I think. McDonald's. Staff pick the cat. I'm not a cat person, so no way. Sorry. Daft Punk tribute. Wow, look at that. Kraken versus the Vikings. I mean, that's at least it's different, right? Because now you've got a ship plus a, a sea monster. It makes sense. Mr. Bean, <laughs> does that have enough popularity to get made? Probably not. Now everybody's going medieval. You know, it, it's probably the blacksmith shop coming out and get, getting made now. People are like, we've got to go. Got to, like, go medieval because there's no IP. So I do like the idea of a... I don't know. They they could just come out with a whole series like once per year. Come out with a medieval throwback, and it would sell. Look at this medieval village. I like that. Calvin and Hobbes. Great wave. Little medieval tavern. They're everywhere. Bionicle. Wow. That is a huge set. The thing would need to be like three or four hundred dollars. I don't know. There's no way the kids with Bionicle have that kind of money to just drop the way. Thunderbirds. I don't really know much about Thunderbirds. Huh. Well, I'm gonna finally I'm going to call it a day. Ooh, what was that? Whoops. This, as the site goes bonkers on me. I'm going to finally do the Tavern in the Snow. I've been talking about it. This one would never get made. I do like this new Sorcerer's Tower. I think that's nice. That could fit in a somebody doing a Harry Potter world or medieval, you know, again, these medieval themes are really getting some love. Winter snow globes. Where is my tavern? There it is. We are going...
Go. Tavern. This one is sweet. We've checked this one out before. Look at that. I think the what I really like is the inside. There's not even really a ton of drinking going on. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's really well done, though. I like that it's more than just the medieval tavern or the medieval inn or a medieval this. It's the under the snow. And that'd be great to get some of those pieces and stuff like that. It's really well done. So with that, thanks for jumping in. Really appreciate it. Probably the only other big announcements and things coming. I've been diving into classic space. So be sure to check out some of my latest videos this week on uh, Classic Space. Um, I uh, also so will be doing Microfighter Monday as usual. We'll be back launching Series 3, which starts with the Snap Wexler Resistance X-Wing. That'll be uh, going on, on Monday. And then probably the only thing coming is all I'm working on, so not yet, not sure exactly when, probably in the next few weeks, I'll probably be uh, updating the channel name. So while my name is Scott, um, you know, I originally just kind of wanted something that was somewhat building related, but I'll, it'll probably be um, just a little bit different new name. So it'll have Scott in it because I, I always want, you know, it's like to let people know my name is Scott when we're in chats and stuff like that. So um, be on the watch out for that. The channel name will be changing soon. So stay tuned. Um, thank you so much for everybody that joined. Pioneer, Spot the Magic Ninja. And we supported, I think, at least six. So once the replay is kicked in, I'll definitely link, in, link to all of the... Um, to all of these submissions, the product ideas, go out there. I recommend everybody support some of these. The designers put tons of effort into it, only to get some uh, submitted, like 30 or 40 of them, you know, like a, in a review period, and then almost all of them get rejected. But I, I think it's one of those badges of honor getting to 10K. So congrats to everybody that got 10K in the last uh, go around. But I'm uh, I'm always trying to support people to get to 10K. I think that's pretty cool. If nothing else, they can hopefully they release instructions and unlike rebrickable or Bricklink, and people can can build them and buy them on their own, right? So yeah, it's great if Lego supports them because then that's the big time. <laughs> and I don't think they get a ton out of it, but um, you know, it's uh, it's a pretty cool thing, and I wish. Lego, of course, just as Spot the Magic Ninja said, wish they could make more of these, a lot more of these, if not all of them. It's kind of a shame that they can't at least do something for for these folks because to get 10,000 likes, it seems easy to get 10,000 supporters, but it really kind of isn't. Um, some of them literally travel the country, do videos. Like it's it's, it's got to be a lot of work to get some of these approved and popular enough. So again, happy Friday, everybody. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed and support Lego Ideas. And uh, we will see you on the next video or stream.